Vagar is the biggest dragon seen in live action in the universe of House of the Dragon and Game of Thrones. But here we will showcase 7 movie dragons bigger than her. Firstly, how big is Vagar? To start with, the officially stated size of 150 meters is way off course than the dragon that was seen in the series. Just check out this estimate of ours. This gigantic yellowish dragon seen in House of the Dragon was actually between 250 to 300 feet long or between 76 to 90 meters. So what are the ones that are actually bigger and more massive? Let's get to it. Well, the first one here is the Red Death, which isn't just 122 meters or 400 feet long, but also massive in body size and bulk. Seen in the very first How to Train Your Dragon movie, the Red Death was the main antagonist that drove the divide and hatred between dragons and humans. Its head is heavily armed with a nasal horn, coral-shaped frills, and jaws that are lined up with sword-like teeth. It also has three pairs of eyes that gives it no blind spot at all. It has massive wings that enable it to fly almost as fast as the Night Fury. Vagar is around 100 to 150 feet shorter and also less bulky than the Red Death. Second here in this list of dragons bigger than the Yellow Beast of Hot D is none other than Smaug, who is 427 feet or 130 meters long and having a wingspan of over 360 feet or 110 meters wide. The villain of The Hobbit, Smaug was the last great dragon of Middle-earth. Although he was little compared to his ancestors, he was still a really dreadful and responsible for the death and exile of the dwarves from Erebor. Smaug would be more than one and a half times as long as Vagar, and therefore even if he was slimmer than the other one, he would still have a good size advantage over Vagar. Adult Bewilderbees are incredibly massive four-legged dragons with a pair of gigantic tusks protruding from the sides of their heads. They are ocean titans from the world of How to Train Your Dragon. They do look a bit silly though, having a flat face and two hypnotizing eyes with a large flaring crown of spikes and frills that fan out from the back of their heads. And they also have wings but they are not used for flying rather, they are like appendages that are adapted for swimming. These massive beasts are 520 feet long or twice the length of Vagar and many times bulkier and heavier. The next one is the Buraki, who is a serpentine dragon that appeared in the Korean fantasy film D Wars. He is a dark Imugi who desires to become the new celestial dragon so he can destroy both heaven and earth and rebuild them in his own image. The Buraki possesses virtually unbreakable skin, massive strength, amazing speed but cannot fly and slithers around like a snake. Without effort, he can level buildings, trees and traffic to go where he wants to go as well as burrow under the earth. He can also create dark clouds. This Buraki is 650 feet or 200 meters long, so two and a half times longer than Vagar. So the next one, seen in Godzilla King of the Monsters, as a rival apex predator to Godzilla himself, Monster Zero or also known as Ghidorah was discovered dormant inside the Antarctic glaciers and was theorized to have been trapped there for thousands of years. He is a three-headed dragon with a golden body, two massive wings and two long bob tails. At 521 feet tall, his height alone is already twice that of Vagar's length. And when we take into consideration his actual length, from the snout to the tip of the tail, Monster Zero would be around 900 to 1000 feet or between 300 to 330 meters long, or four times longer than Vagar. This next dragon kinda looks like Ghidorah and is a Japanese movie monster or a kaiju. He is seen in the movie The Three Treasures. Here Orochi, his name, looks like a giant snake with eight heads with eight small tails and a massive body. In another movie, Orochi, the eight-headed dragon, he now sports a more draconic appearance with a bulky body and stubby legs. He is red with multiple yellow horns on its head and small spikes sticking out from the tail. Orochi differs from Ghidorah as he has no wings and instead of three, he has eight heads and also eight tails. He is also similar to Monster Zero in length and overall size, so, so around four times bigger than Vagar. There are other dragons like Void Ghidorah that can be included here, but he is also just another version incarnation of Ghidorah. So the seventh dragon bigger than Vagar in this list would be the World Gobbler of the animated French-German film Dragon Hunters. Aside from the wings, the World Gobbler is a dragon that greatly resembles a full Tyrannosaurus skeleton. The spikes on the back, however, resemble the back plates of another dinosaur, 
the Stegosaurus. This monstrous skeletal titan was over 1,000 feet long and therefore many times bigger than Vega, the yellow beast of Aegon the Conqueror. So I hope you have enjoyed watching this video. Do hit the like button for support and subscribe. But most of all, smash that bell icon for regular updates on new videos here on this channel. Till the next one, take care fam.